Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at triage from Danny Weiser and Shin Lin. What is it? It's a TNR. It's a torn and restored uh, card effect where the restoration happens instantly. Uh, it's not one of those piece by piece restorations that's really slow and tedious. Uh, it's very quick and highly visual and you wanna see what it looks like, this is it. So that was Danny Weiser. Uh, you might remember he did Skyline. I did a review for that a while back. Uh, the performer in the video, that's Shin Lin. You might remember he did the Flash Deck Switch. This is published by Black Label Certified. All right, so what I like about this. I like that it's an instant restoration. That's really cool. Uh, most of the time you see these long, tedious, kind of like piece by piece uh, TNRs. And so this is just instantaneous. It happens immediately. It's a, a flash and it's, it's over with and it's so fast actually. The spectator doesn't even really have time to see the pieces moving back together. It's, it's four corners and then BAM! It's a car. And so that in and of itself looks very magical. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews. The first of which is, what's in the box? Hey, what's in the box? Let me show you. Normally I don't show people what's in the box. But I want to show you the box. I mean, this is a really thick, very tall, very hard, you know, built box. It's very beautiful. It's all, you know, foil graphic and you have this little magnet uh, swing lid here. Uh, I'm going to cover up the URL just for a second. Uh, look how deep that is. You're getting all that extra space. And so you'd think that in something like this, you're, you're getting a lot, but actually uh, you're getting this. You're getting this little plastic bag uh, with this torn gimmick inside of it. And so that that's really um, what comes in the box. I wasn't sure why they gave you such a large box for this or what was needed for such a hard shell, expensive uh, box. My wife said, well, you probably stick the deck of cards in there. And I was like, not really. I mean, it's not really a deck of cards trick. It's a, it's a single card restoration trick. And so there must have been a reason why they made the box so big, but I can't imagine what that would be. Is it what I thought? Nope. It's not what I thought at all. Uh, when I saw this and I got it in the mail, uh, I was very surprised that this was the effect. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, I'll get more into that a little bit later. All right, so how are the angles? Uh, it happens really fast. So there's not a whole lot of angles to it. One of the things I will say is that the gimmick you have, you're gonna use over and over again, the gimmick is not the card that you're showing the spectator. Obviously, you're giving them back the restored card. So your gimmick is not the same value or suit as the card you're tearing. It could be if you built your own. However, you're never gonna show the other side of the gimmick. In fact, in some cases you probably can't uh, because it's just kind of Frankenstein from other cards. And so unless you build your own gimmick from scratch, 
Um, it's not gonna match the prediction. Can it be inspected? No, this is a gimmick. Uh, it's got a lot of bells and whistles uh, built into it. Like I said, it's kind of Frankenstein to put together. You definitely wouldn't want to hand this out. You're gonna do a really fast switch uh, on your spectators so that they never see uh, the triage gimmick itself. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the download? Uh, like I said, you're getting a download with this. You're not getting a DVD, okay? You couldn't fit a DVD in this box. You're getting a code for a download video. Uh, it's 53 minutes long. It's all shot in HD. You're getting lots of ideas, lots of angles. It's well shot. Uh, Shin Lin's a good teacher who does give you some good advice. Uh, and there's extensive instruction, extensive instruction. Most of the instruction is on how to put uh, that pile of cards uh, together into a workable gimmick. And there's also another whole section where they teach you how to build the gimmick from scratch uh, if you wanted to. They give you all the secrets. They tell you exactly how to do it. And so they're giving you more than enough uh, routine ideas for the trick that you're buying. All right, so is it well made? Uh, it's just made with a card and some extra things. And they're giving you all of that, but you're gonna have to make it yourself. Now there's two options to purchase this. You can purchase the unbuilt version or you could purchase the built version. So depending on which one you buy, uh, I would say that it's gonna be as well made as you make it. How much practice does it require? Not a lot. Uh, like I said, it's an instant working gimmick. And so it's just a matter of you resetting it and then going through with the routine. Uh, the only uh, thing that you'll have to remember is just how the routine goes, uh, some of your handling. Uh, other than that, uh, there isn't really much practice to it. How much setup and reset is there? There's not much. Uh, it's just you uh, keeping your pieces together in like a little alligator clip like this uh, and then going through with the routine. There's also the other performance, you know, where Shinlin sticks it in his mouth uh, again, but it, it, there's, there's some kind of behind the scenes awkwardness where you're kind of like getting the gimmick into its get ready. Uh, and so that kind of has to not be seen. And so you do kind of have to do that off to the side. And then after every performance, you're gonna have to reset the gimmick back into that little, uh, origami shape. All right, so what are the positives to triage? Like I said, it's highly visual, happens instantaneous, looks like real magic. Negatives, what are the negatives to this? Uh, like we always say, there's negatives to every magic trick. These are just the negatives that I see with this trick. They don't have to be the negatives that you see with this trick. Um, I was kind of unhappy with the arts and crafts. I'm always unhappy with arts and crafts. I don't like doing uh, things like that myself. I don't like working with tape and super glue and elastic and magnets and you know trap doors and smoke and all kinds of, you know, Elmer's glue and I, I just don't like stuff like that and so that's just me some of you love arts and crafts that's just never been my thing uh, I was kind of disappointed with the emptiness of the box that was another thing I kind of felt like you're paying for the box more than you're paying for the gimmick and so there's just that and also the construction of the gimmick is also kind of Frankenstein uh, there's even some element to the gimmick that uh, makes a noise it makes a it talks a little bit and so uh, I would just be wary and be very careful uh, when doing this trick make sure that you're in a well uh, controlled environment where you know where all your spectators are you you understand your lighting and how that's gonna work with your gimmick and the noise level uh, in case you have a gimmick that kind of speaks a little bit when it performs all right so is it worth your money uh, like I said it comes in two different versions you can buy the unbuilt version for $35 and you can buy the built version for 40 Personally, for $5 more to have them build it for you, well worth it. I would rather have them build it and just so that you can start playing with it immediately. Uh, that's just my thing, you know, when I get it in the mail uh, and I open it up, I instantly want to start playing with it. And when you realize, oh, I've got to put it together myself, it just kind of gets pushed further and further back on the priority list uh, until you have the time you know, to put this together. It probably would only take you about 15 to 20 minutes to put this together, which isn't a lot of time, but for $5 to have it put together professionally, I think would be uh, money well spent. All right, so who would like this? I think people that do video magic uh, would definitely like this. If you uh, want to do stuff on television or things like that, I think it's highly visual. Uh, of course, you want to get the rights to that from Black Label Certified before you do that. Uh, I think people that like to do street magic, shock magic, uh, would definitely like this. People that work in a restaurant or a crowded area where there's lots of ambient noise, I think uh, would like this as well. All right, so that is triage. It was provided for us by the generous people down at Murphy's Magic Supplies. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at one of your favorite Murphy's Magic suppliers. Thanks. Bye.